Hello and welcome back to In Stars and Time. As always, we're gonna continue this time with Save 5. Yeah, actually, let me turn up the volume a bit. Just for me, at least. And here we are. And let me just get back to where we were. So we were at the second floor and we were halfway done exploring. So let's go to the right this time. I'm excited. Uh oh. Ah! Damn. <laughs> I didn't even try avoiding that one. <laughs> Damn. The dress. No. Weak. Um, it is a rock type, so we need paper attacks. In that case, let's give up the turn to Odile. Since she is paper type, then we attack normally. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm always trying to make combos happen, but when the enemies are too weak, it's kind of not possible, is it? <laughs> ah, no! What? What's happening? Why can I... <laughs> Why do I suck so much? <laughs> okay, let's try to make this quick. And that's it. Nice. <laughs> that was not too difficult. <laughs> In that case, let's go in here. It's a classroom. Oh. That's true, Mirabel took classes at the castle, right? Like craft and acting and plant, 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 plantology. <laughs> Maybe that's what Odile studies. <laughs> Various school supplies. And this, what? <laughs> Let's check out everything on the side tables first. A list of students' names for a month-long class. Some of the students have more than their first and last name listed. Huh. This student has one, two, five names? This is a Vogardian practice, as I recall. Having more than one name? Yeah! A lot of Vogardians have more than one name. I I have two names. Theoretically. <laughs> Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. Oh! <laughs> How nice. But some parents just go wild and give more than you give more than that. <laughs> I had a co-worker with ten names. What? The many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve to become someone new at a moment's notice. Oh. That's interesting. But wouldn't that make more sense if you were just able to choose a new name with time? Like you just go like, no, I'm not called this anymore. I'll just call myself that. Because if it has been given to you at birth, like all of your name options, I don't know. But that's interesting. And if you decide to change genders or become someone different than who you were before, you already have a name ready to pick out. I mean, that's cool. But also, I don't know if people just decide to change genders. It's more like just who you are, right? Like, people don't just go like, oh, I'm gonna be transgender now. <laughs> but regardless. This is lovely, actually. How regards goal of change goes even as deep as names. Yeah, that is nice. I have another name too. So I feel a little closer to Vogard at this moment. <gasps> I want to know! You do? I want to know, I want to know! <laughs> exactly what I said. I I'm curious as well. If that's okay. Huh. If you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon? Not really frowned upon. But some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list wrote down every name. See? I wouldn't mind telling you though, Madame Odile. I'd tell you, but I forgot mine. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> My sister is the one who remembers. <coughs> oh God. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I wanna keep them secret. Oh, that's fine. Because if I do change again, I don't want you to already know how to call me. <laughs> I want it to be a surprise. Oh, of course. 
then let us keep our name secret for a little while longer. What? But I want to find out now. Fogart is so weird. <laughs> a pile of students' papers. And this? <gasps> what? <laughs> The bookcase is filled with some books about many, many random things. There's a book about something called bonding earrings. Bonding earrings? Didn't we have that last time? Isn't- yeah! Isn't that what the frozen person on the way to the library was wearing? You pick up the book and flip through it. Huh. It's pretty dry. You'd rather not read it, actually. <laughs> Zifrin, are you curious about bonding earrings? You're not. They are all wearing earrings, aren't they? But like, that's probably not bonding earrings, if I had to guess. I mean, Odile... I don't even know if she has ears. No, she has to have ears if she is wearing glasses. I mean, I guess you could probably... Uh -huh. I'm guessing Odile has ears. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that. Do you not have those where you're from? You don't. We have bonding earrings in Kabu as well. Yeah, she has like this dangly things from her glass, which is super cool. But no earrings as far as I can tell. <laughs> Let me explain it for you, Sif. You see, Sif, when people love each other very much, Oh, oh, I want to know what happens when people love each other very much. No one's ever told me. <laughs> Isabel! M many things happen, and then maybe they'll decide to get bonded and spend a very long time together. Oh, When they do, they'll start making a pair of bonding earrings. They're supposed to symbolize the other person, so the design is very, very important. Oh. And if the bonding is between three or more people, you'd make as many earrings as there are people. Nice! So also poly bonding earrings. <laughs> and then you exchange earrings. So they would carry one of each earrings. <laughs> I know it's not practiced everywhere, but it definitely is in Bogard. Not everyone does in Kabua, but it's popular there as well. Not my kind of thing, though. Yeah, that does not surprise me somehow. <laughs> oh, so... Is that why you all wear earrings? Huh? W what do you mean? You pointed Mirabel, Isabeau, and Bonnie's ears. Uh... Huh? Uh, no! <laughs> oh no, they are so shocked! <laughs> that's, that's not why we wear earrings! Those are just regular earrings! Ah, uh, um, that's... My sister said I had to wear them. Well, it is very common for people to wear earrings, but it's not... Oh, I bet Isabel would love to wear bonding earrings. Probably with Sifrin, if I had to guess. Related. Oh, look at him. Mirabel, Isabel and Bonnie all look at each other. <gasps> is it related? I'm suddenly worried. I haven't met a lot of people without earrings, even if they are not bonding earrings. That's interesting. It's true that I know very few Vocardians without earrings. Is this why we wear them? As, as like... A, a way to get us used to the idea at a young age? Ooh, what are we uncovering right now? A thing we gotta do because adults... Said so? Even manipulation to force us to get bonded as we age! <laughs> oh, I love that they are like questioning their own customs and stuff. I think that's cool. Huh. I suppose every country has its weird antiquated traditions. True, true. Oh, I guess so. It's kind of funny. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> Mirabel, she's so cute. Mirabel seems genuinely upset at the idea. Because change, right? And she just accept, accepted that as, as a thing, as a fact, or as a thing you just do without questioning. I'm guessing that's what her reaction is coming from. Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it up. Say something. 
But your earrings all look nice though. <laughs> oh, you think so? You know, Isabel hides his face. Oh, you're so cute. Uh, anyway, your earrings are nice, Mira. They make you look cute. I like my earrings because I can hang things on them. <laughs> That's amazing. What is it called? Like a stretch uh, thing that stretches your... I don't know. <laughs> yes, my earrings do look nice. And they were expensive. I throw them away dramatically another time. <laughs> That's the spirit. <gasps> hmm. Maybe you could go see that frozen person again. In a future loop. <gasps> we can do that. I don't know. Do you think we could also talk to the jeweler about that? In in Dormont? Because like maybe they also have some knowledge. I wonder. And also there's definitely something up with the statues. Like one of you people responded in a very mysterious way and now I don't know, I wanna know. <laughs> it's been destroyed. Huh. A note stuck to the wall. It says, No snack eating in this room. No, why? Out of the corner of your eye. You see Bunny jump on an apple. Yeah, anti-establishment breaking the rules. <laughs> Amazing. A board with some doodles in the corner. Yeah, we see a little stick person. Henry Stickman. <laughs> it's a nice classroom, isn't it? Wonder what classes were taught there. I have bad memories of this classroom. Oh? Why? Did you have a bad class in this room, Belle? Ah, uh, no, not... Um, it's... I gave a class here... Oh, what? No, not too long before the king attacked. What? You're a teacher? <gasps> or did he say, gasp? <laughs> you never said... No, it was just one lecture. I, um, the head house maiden, she said it would be good for me to give a lecture. A lecture on? I'm, I'm well known in the man's house for being the house maiden who has taken the most classes. <gasps> what? It's amazing. Taken the most classes? Like, as a student? How many is that? <laughs> Since I came to live here, I think I registered for a little more than 150 classes. <gasps> oh my god, how cool is that? Huh? Huh? Uh, Mirabel? You went to school that long? So she wanted me to do a lecture. But that's really cool though, isn't it? I think like educating yourself in various different fields and topics can teach you a lot and I don't know I think there's a lot of intersection in or w within uh, oh God, uh, fields that maybe don't seem related and then you can learn so much and that's so cool so she wanted me to do a lecture on what taking all those classes taught me huh. and and uh, should we Drop it? Yes, please. Oh, look at them being respectful of boundaries, not pushing anyone to say anything. <laughs> look, only Bonnie is facing in a different direction. <laughs> but let's keep going. I, I think that's such a green flag friend group. <laughs> Some frozen flowers. What do they smell like? What? <laughs> Some school books. Mathematics, geography, crafting, art, sewing, cooking. Ah, oh, how cool. And more of that. In that case, let's check out all the desks. A desk! On it is an open issue of The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number 32. An empty desk. What's on here? A desk with an open notebook. It has very lovely handwriting. Oh! oh I recognize this handwriting! This is the seat of a very stylish, very scary lady with amazing fashion sense. <gasps> what? Is it? Oh my god. She often wears this very cool dress and she always has her dark hair in a bun. <gasps> oh my god, that's the stylish lady in Dermont. What was she called? Um, 
Was she the stylish? <laughs> the elegant one, I think. I think the elegant one or the stylish. I don't know. <laughs> That's so odd. It's so cute because she admires Mirabelle so much, and apparently it's the other way around as well. And they are both scared to talk to each other. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. We often had the same classes. But she probably doesn't know I exist. Oh, if you knew Mirabel. Oh. I'm a little sad about it. I always wanted to ask her for her fashion tips. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> my voice is going high. <laughs> That's so sweet. Some vials. Let's see. We got a super sweet tonic. You give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. And a desk. A notebook titled Mark's super awesome, great, amazing, super duper cool notebook. Do not touch. Out of respect, you leave the super duper cool notebook alone. Oh, it's <laughs> cool. Uh, let me check the inventory real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Have we had the sweet top? Wait, super sweet. Yeah, super sweet. Drink that completely heals everyone's HP. Makes you smile when you drink it. Oh, that's. Oh my god, it's so powerful. Ro recovers one Ellie's HP and everyone's. That's amazing to have. Nice. Let's keep going. Yeah, no. Okay, I will skip this fight. <laughs> and there we go. No problem for us. <laughs> uh, come on, why are there so many? Okay, now. Yeah, I <laughs> can't get to us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait. Is that like the... It reminds me of the other one we saw a while ago, right? Uh, sadness. Another weird one. Like the one that gave us the crest? Wait. Bonnie face? What do you mean by a weird? Oh. Uh, no time, madame! But that's a good question, though. What exactly makes it weird for Bonnie? Wait, that might actually be important, maybe. Let's get ready! Let's go, let's fight the weird sadness. Battle start. What even is its time? Nostalgia. <gasps> no, Sifrin is down! What is its time? Look, we have something that looks scissory here. But also, maybe that's a rock paper. Let's. Huh. Let's try a paper attack just to see if it is rock. Resist. Okay, I think. I think it is scissors type. In that case, we're gonna do... Kaboom, yeah! Weak, yeah, nice! I think that's right. Uh-oh. Oh no, poor Mirabel, look at her! Um, we're gonna do rock three with the deer. Bonnie, you the enemy, nice! But Bonnie, mi Bonnie missed, never mind! <laughs> Still amazing though! Let's... Boost all allies' attacks. Or one Ellie. Let's do Sparkle Heal for Mirabel. Yeah, nice. And she's getting attacked again. <laughs> Damn. You're gonna attack with Rock. Odile cannot, I think. No, Odile. Um. Yeah, two turns. That sucks. Paper, scissors, examine. Huh, what are we gonna do? Uh, oh my god. Uh, let's guard. Yeah, thank you, Polly. Polly? <laughs> Bonnie? <laughs> You're gonna boost all Ellie's attacks. I think that's good. Then Isabel can attack again. Damn, it's unfortunate that we don't have Sifrin to give his turn. Who is a? Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you're gonna guard as well. <laughs> oh my god, oh dear. Uh, you still can't do rock? In that case, let's just slow the enemy down. And then it's Isabeau time again. And Bonnie attack. And we're gonna do a jackpot skill. Yeah! Yeah, we have five rock attacks. And everyone was here! Oh, amazing! <laughs> you breathe in and out. And we also dis 
deceived, defeated, what's up with me? We also defeated the enemy. 1100 XP received. And you got a star crest again. You put the star crest in your pocket. Uh, yeah, yeah, not a crest. We should be careful about where we use this one. So star crests are always for removing frozen tears that are blocking a path, I think. There's a note on the wall. It says, Stop eating nuts directly from the bears! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's a broken pillar. It's a bear filled with various nuts. And this? Full of various nuts as well. <laughs> what might this contain? <gasps> what? Also nuts? Maybe this is like the nut room. Oh, full of nothing. Oh. <laughs> it's a pillar. Okay. Let's keep going <gasps> key time wait which one the key into the keyhole and open the door i don't know which one but oh split paths two rows of tears but only one crest so we have to decide which way to go huh why don't we what i vote this way <laughs> why this way Manly man's intuition. <laughs> ah, that's stupid. You're stupid. And that's why I vote this way. <laughs> why this way? Smart kid's intuition. Let's go. And also it's the way that Sa didn't choose, so... I'm with the kid. <laughs> it's been a while since we teamed up. Hasn't it? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, we're the um, opposite sides of the age spectrum allies! <laughs> it was opposite sides of the age spectrum alliance. But I understand there's big words in there. Opposite sides of the age spectrum alliance! <laughs> oh! Um, Mira! Mirabel! My friend, my sister from another mother! Please! No! Bell is with us! Come on, she's gonna side with Isa. He's alone. Um, uh, I... I'm with Isabel! Yes! Bell and Beau! <laughs> Amazing! Beauty Alliance! Oh, Beauty Alliance! <laughs> what kind of name is that? Do you guys spend the day looking pretty? I mean, they do. How dare you! <laughs> also, yes? Just look at us. Isabel strikes a pose and Mirabel follows suit a beat later. Oh my god! <laughs> they both look striking. Ew. We have all chosen the side. So that only leaves. No! Oh no. Zephyrin. You're the tiebreaker. But you hate being the tiebreaker. Same. I'm so bad at decisions. I can. Like. If it's irrelevant decisions, I just, I just can't. It like stresses me out so much. <laughs> uh, can't, can't we just get along? No, <laughs> they insulted the beauty alliance. <laughs> All that's left is war. Wow. Unless you bring peace to the alliances by choosing a side. You're the only one that can bring peace to this land. Oh no, age alliance or beauty alliance? Age of beauty, oh my god, what are we gonna do? Um, okay, so the thing is, um, Isabel was acting out of his instinct, and that might be a good thing. I feel like Bonnie also has good instincts, but like Bonnie also only chose that side because Isabel didn't choose it. But I really love Odile. And she's really cool, so I want to go for that. But then, come on, the Beauty Alliance, they are even they even have their own, like, alliance pose and, like, spend their time looking pretty. That's kind of cool. But also, the Age Alliance is kind of funny combination. Oh my god, what do I do? Um, uh, oh no! <laughs> um... Okay, I'm just gonna close my eyes and let it decide randomly. Is that good? Okay, okay, my eyes are closed. Wait, why is not nothing happening? Okay, like that. 
<laughs> I can see nothing. And stop. Oh, okay. We are going with the Age Alliance. Crap, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Bonnie is so excited. Sif, no. No, no, I feel bad. Oh, oh could you? I thought we were friends, Sifrin. No. Betrayer. <laughs> Traitor. Let them eat a thousand needles. <gasps> what <miracle? laughs> huh. Okay, we have to stop. Sifrin looks very distraught. <laughs> You're so cute, Sifrin. <laughs> we didn't mean it. Promise. <laughs> Honestly, that would also get me. You hide your face under the brim of your head. Oh my god, Sifrin is the cutest. <laughs> <laughs> Let us use this crest then, shall we? <gasps> Let's do it. Let's go! And do we go? The path is freed. Here floats. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> you walk away. <laughs> uh, what's that? An animal? A little dog. It's frozen in time. The king freezing humans in time for all eternity. Eternity wasn't great. But him freezing a dog really is the last straw for me. Yeah, how could he do such a terrible thing? Why do I feel like a pun is incoming? I can't believe this. Why would he attack a little dog? I never forgive him. And, and such a cute dog too! Why do they all have like smiles on their face? Ah, the king is the worst! I can't wait to see him and punch him in the face! Yeah, Bonnie! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Odile reaches out and roughly ruffles Bonnie's hair. Oh, the most wholesome combination. <laughs> but I also don't get why they were all like laughing or something. You kneel down and all take turns petting the dog. It's just like touching a statue. Since it's frozen, you can't even feel the texture of its fur. Oh. But still good we tried. Ooh, there's someone frozen in the bed. Uh, you don't feel like there's a key there. But you could be wrong. What? Oh, we are locked again? You're not. You picked the wrong way. Stardust. No! Oh, <laughs> damn it. I guess we have to die then. But first, let's get the virus. Actually, they will just disappear, so never mind. But we can still interact, right? Someone is laying on the bed, frozen in time. They look like they're sleeping. That's... Um... I don't actually know who that is. They look Potarian, don't they? Look at these clothes. And they're covered in... What the... Why did I read bananas? <laughs> they're covered in bananas. And they're covered in bandages. What? A traveler, perhaps. Trying to escape from something? Maybe. They left their home and then went right back to Vogard. Right to the king. And got frozen. Talk about bad luck. Oh, I'm a poor person. A drawer with nothing in it. You look inside. <gasps> it's a tiny bottle with a label saying, Grape juice for adults. What? Oh, it's wine! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow, what a criminal! What, can you not drink alcohol in the house of change? They probably snuck it in. Can. Can you not drink grape juice in an infirmary? <laughs> no. Bonnie face. It's against the law. Oh, oh no! <sighs> Have you drank grape juice in an infirmary before, Bonnie? But like infirmary? Why is this room an infirmary or what? You know you can get severely punished for that, right? Oh no! I don't think they're talking about the same kind of grape juice. Why don't we tell anyone that you broke the law? What? What? Maybe I read it wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. You promise? We promise. Yes, we promise. We super duper promise. Is a pop pat's Bonnie's head? Ah. Uh, thank you. 
I'm sorry, I'm a criminal. <laughs> How funny! Aren't we all? What? I wanna know what Odile gets up to in her free time. What do we not know about her? <laughs> Excuse me, Odile. A bed. Doesn't seem very comfy. There's a bunch of things on the bed, like... Oh? Earrings! <gasps> oh, pretty! Just one, though. And it's broken, too. I'll take it! Yeah, we finally have something for Isabel! You got the drop earring. You give the drop earring to Isabel to equip later. Let's equip it right now. Because then it will not be gone, right? Let's see. Rectangular earrings that fortify the wearer's body and soul. If you touch one, it goes ding ding. <laughs> okay, let's see. Drop earrings. A single. Oh, drop earring. A single earring. Looks cooler than wearing two. Boosts attack speed. Yeah! Attack speed has gone up. Nice! Yeah! <laughs> and a stool. And some flowers. Oh, a little note attached to them. I thought it was gonna say, like, it smells like flowers. Get well soon so we can go party <laughs> with a lot of hearts. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Oh. <laughs> a statue of the changed god. It's been destroyed. That's really interesting. Oh my god. A closet. There's a porcelain doll in it. It's cracked with half of its face missing. That's kind of uncanny. Someone probably threw it away. Scary. Looks kind of sad, doesn't it? You think it's cute? Ah! Oh! You got the broken doll. In your pocket along with your souvenirs. Wait, let's interact with it right away. Pockets. Excuse me, I still need to get used to this. Broken doll. It's cute! You look at the doll. It's cute! <laughs> Honestly, I think that's so nice if you can find cuteness in things that people don't normally find cute. I don't know, I think there's something cute about that. <laughs> I don't know. Some medical books? <sighs> and a volume of The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number 10. <laughs> it's really everywhere, nothing else here. And here, wait, and here, nothing, okay. In that case, we gotta go die. Nice. What's over there? Ah, uh, we should not waste our time. The tear floats, floats gently. Yes, looping time! And there we go. You had a good sleep. Oh, that's different. Let's start again. And I wonder... Now we can start on the second floor, that is nice. I did want to talk to the jeweler just to see if there is anything about it and also to that one person who's from Poteria but I don't think we need to do that right now so let's go here right or do we need anything any open phrase or something like that I don't think so let's go back to floor two yeah let's go and we're back loop five you wake up you don't exactly dream when you're frozen in time but it's similar, or more like, it's a slice of a dream, stretched into minutes, hours, days. A single thought, concept, forever rolling out like taffy. So again, very much opposed to change. You dreamt about bananas! <laughs> oh, and there they are eating, right. And we can save just for good measure. And in that case, we can keep going, I think. Are you ready? Yeah, we are. Okay, let me just get back to where we were earlier. And then I will see you people again. Oh, look at that. We got, again, we got a scene where there was a weapon that we have already picked up and already have in our inventory. And look at that, is, is the world rewriting itself when you look again? That's a good question. There's some gardening books. That's all. 
Oh my god, that's so weird and interesting. Let's see if this will change though. While passing through, you stumble and accidentally bump against Odile. Oh? Y you jump and yelp. Whoa! Ah, sorry, Sifrin. I, uh, I just wasn't. <laughs> Don't worry, you're good. We're used to your weird aversion to touch. See, they are not touching Sifrin because Sifrin might have difficulties with that. Oh, you're. What? Oh? Wait, now we need to go here every time and see how that evolves. That's interesting. Oh my god, please. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at that! We're back with that person. Didn't we want to check that out in another loop? Let's see if something will be different here. Mirba doesn't know. Let's skip. <laughs> That's the same. <laughs> oh no. Oh, romantic. No. Okay, now you understand the context of this conversation. Huh? Their fist is closed. As if they are holding something. What? Could it be... You try to get it out. Sif? What are you... Their hand is frozen in time. But you managed to get the item out. What? I was not expecting this. Uh, it's a dark earring. Same design as the one they are wearing on their left ear. You got the bonding earring. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, crap. That's the other half. The, they didn't give it to their partner yet. No. <laughs> we have to find their partner. Oh, and give it to them. And, and then give them the earring. That's what I said. <laughs> Time to find their partner. Nice. We're gonna do it for you. Looking for the partner. Frozen in time. Oh, woo. That is very cute. Can we read the diary entry again? Or will it be different? Oh, we look at the sparkly diary and Mirba catches us looking. Oh, this one looks fairly recent. Oh, but that's the same? I... Oh! Sifrin. No time or... Sure. Okay, this will... Probably be the same. You open your mouth, but no sound comes out. What? That is also interesting. Actually, that got me thinking. Where is Sifrin from? Because I've thought about that last time. And I didn't really get an, a conclusive answer. At least, I, th I don't think I did. So what? Like, crazy theory. But like, what if Sifrin is from that country that disappeared? I mean, probably not, but... Like, what if? Huh. There must be something bigger to it. Oh my god, I want to know everything. Sweet tonics, nice. And the book weapon. Oh! Oh, right! It's gone again! Oh! a very weak boo is a boo. oh here's a the boo Ooh. ha yeah i'm a spooky prankster <laughs> you're ready for it this time you'll be fine looking at old spots like this from now on that's like it even changes what people like say i mean obviously when it changes your react but that's so weird ah <sighs> But in that case, we can go back to where we were now. Okay, we're back here. Uh, this time, let's just skip all this. 
Okay, Odile's with the kid and Mirabel is with Bo. You're the tiebreaker. Okay, uh, you know which way to go now, since going with the Age Alliance didn't give you a key. Hopefully the other side should have one. So... Oh, can't we just get along? Be Age Alliance or Beauty Alliance? In that case, we're gonna use the Beauty Alliance. Choose. Yes! <gasps> we will not forget such terrible slight, Sifrin. Uh-oh. We will not forget! We will not forgive! May you eat only potatoes for the rest of your life! May your house fall down on your horrified face. Whoa! Yeah! What she said? <laughs> we're kidding, Sifrin. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Don't look so distraught. I'm not kidding! <laughs> I put potatoes in friends' pockets! Shh! Don't tell them. Oh my god, I love them! I'll help you later. <laughs> you assume a guarding stance. Bonnie immediately assumes an attacking stance. Alright, kids. Let's use this crest then, shall we? <laughs> oh, amazing! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! That's what I just said! <laughs> and... We are... Ah! Fighting a monster! No! Ah! Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just want to avoid the monster. Leave the door alone. Oh, an open phrase. Damn. No! I was not able to avoid it after all. Damn. <laughs> and we are all healed again. Nice. 500 XP received. And now we can really go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, what? Is that just rocks? Like trap rocks? <laughs> Wait a second. If that is trap rocks? Wait, didn't we read somewhere the key is located in the trap rock room? Or am I just making this up now? I don't know why, but I think I read that and that would make sense. Beware of rock! Simple, but to the point. <laughs> oh. There's something on the counter. You found the scissors key! The keychain dangling from it. It's shaped like a hand in the scissors position. And now we have all three, right? So... Rock, paper, scissors! Just good old basic rock, paper, scissors. Makes sense. You all not. It makes sense. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Some carving wood. Looks like someone liked to carve during that break. You wonder where your own carving tools went. <gasps> Sifrin used to carve as well? How cool! Ha! <sighs> That's the rock thing. A book about traps and how they work. Some of the pages are bookmarked. Does it say anything about the traps you've seen so far? Traps. Traps. Ah! One of the bookmarks is labeled death corridor. <gasps> this is where you first died. But you're still not sure why the trap activated when it did. That is a good question. You read the page. Uh, the type of trap in the death corridor is apparently called... If you feel safe, it activates O trap. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, Sif. It's one hell of a disgusted face you're pulling. That is pretty evil. But does that mean... Does it mean that in the future if we walk through the death corridor, it just won't activate because we will never feel safe? If I had to guess, that's probably it. Nothing more to learn here. And a barrel full of various nuts. Let's check out this prison. Oh, seems like they are hiding. Someone frozen in time. Oh! Him! <laughs> oh my god! What? Oh? Oh? Please, tell us more. Uh oh. Uh, no, that's. Uh, uh, sorry! I, I mean, this man is another housemaid. He's a scholar. He's working really hard on a project. It. Boring! <laughs> Why don't you like him? Was he mean to you? Shall we do something to him? Oh dear, we can't, he's frozen. Please, don't. Yeah, please don't, do not. He's, um, he is 
a human man that exists. <laughs> She's trying really hard to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. I, I think he stole one of my priceless issues of the cursing of Chateau Castle. <gasps> How could he? Oh no! A thief! No! Forget I said that! I have no concrete proof! B but. But my issue disappeared shortly after he came to my dorm room to ask me something. That's all. A thief! Hmm. You look through his pockets. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. There's a book inside. The title reads The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number three. <gasps> He is really a thief. <laughs> you wave it around. Well, what do we have here? So I was right! This... Th this... Horrible thief! Mirabel got back her priceless copy of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. She angrily stuffs it in her pocket. Victory! It's back! It, it is! <sighs> Sorry for badmouthing him while he's frozen in time. He's a very talented scholar, also. This was fun, Mirabel. You should show your ruthless side more often. <laughs> no! Oh. oh my god. Wait, is it actually in there somewhere? Uh, I don't think. Dense book? But no cursing of Chateau Castle heavy book? I don't think so, and we can probably also not equip it to her? I don't think so. Yeah, no. And the rocks. Some very big rocks. Two of them seem to be missing. <laughs> I wonder where they are. Could they be for various traps in the house? <laughs> I mean, we have already encountered two rock traps, haven't we? And that's the same. In that case, since we have the key, we can move on. Oh, haha, <laughs> you can't get us. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. True, that one was the open phrase one. Change? You say the word change aloud. Nothing happens. Okay. And storage room also won't work. St storage. Nothing happens. And we don't have anything else to go off, right? Leave the door alone. Okay, we don't even know who to ask. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. I, I apologize. <laughs> uh, like last time, Mirabel gave us a hint as to who we should ask. But this time, how are we gonna find that out? Is it just trial and error, or do we have to wait for a certain clue? Ah! Ah, okay, <laughs> let's make this quick and skip this fight as well. Oh, what? There was a one-hit attack. <laughs> nice, good job, Odia. <laughs> that was quicker than expected, and then I'm not complaining about that. I'm sorry for stuttering right there, and that means we can move up to the third floor. I will save first though. Everyone was healed. And we're gonna save. In slot 6. And that means... Is it time? I think it's time. Oh, wait, we have a save point here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Anyways, that means we can open this, right? Yeah! Key time! You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Oh, oh my god. Is it gonna be another schoolgirl? What's gonna happen? Let's check out the pillars first. It's a pillar. A broken pillar? A pillar? <laughs> Okay, no traps. That sure is a pillar. Oh, what's that? One paper and one rock type? Strong sadnesses again. Ah, we'll be fine. Let's go, go, go! Oh. 
And we have another boss battle fight. Two sadnesses. Get ready, everyone. Oh. A but a but what a club <laughs> a club more? <laughs> a but more. I don't know. Um can we attack? We can choose. We attack. Ooh, that does nothing. Should we try focusing on the paper type first? I think in that case. Let's do your turn for Sif again and attack again nice critical remember it's also gonna attack because we do want to build up jackpot skills cries out oh but mirabelle can't be frozen in time yeah let's go bonnie missed but that's fine and odile is also gonna use scissors number three no no damn well whatever <laughs> Everyone has lowered defense. Well, <laughs> at least we have a jackpot skill now. Yeah! Let's go, everyone! Nice! The, the short head one is doing something. The one on the right. What is it? What? It's healed! <gasps> what? Oh, crap! It can heal itself and kill the other one in the process? It, it killed the other one! and healed itself in the process. Wow! Oh my god, new interesting mechanics! Let's do so weak. That's always good. Isabel looks cute and fragile! <laughs> okay, in that case we're gonna attack for you. They can just kill the other half, which heals them. Oh no, Isabel! We are gonna do buy one, get one, three, sure. So it is three attacks, that's where the pun is coming in. <laughs> yes, next! Thanks, Bonnie! Isabeau is gonna give his turn to Sifrin. And Sifrin can use knife to meet you. A cool one-liner, yeah! <laughs> Odile should not be able to use scissors three yet, but she can slow the enemy down. Mirabelle can just attack normally. Nice. And... Oh! No! Okay. It's different. Can also attack normally. And that means we have another jackpot skill. Yeah! Let's go. So I guess with this special enemy, it means that the, the strong... No. The weaker half can kill the stronger half to heal itself. Oh my god, that's so cruel. 7000 XP, that's so much. Zifrin is level 50, 48. Isabeau is level 49 and learned the craft skill. Break, break! Oh, Odile is level 49 and learned the craft skill. Paper Alpha V? Interesting name. We, we won! All right, one last floor to go. Really? Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I have gotten stronger. What about Odile though? Oh, you got the memory of break, break. We always remember this. And Odile? When equipped, your fighter will be able to use break, break as a skill, even if he isn't at level 49. We do know that already. Break, break is a skill that lowers one enemy's defense. Nice. Oh, okay. And now we're getting Odile. Huh. Finally figured it out. Oh, she's so cool. I love her. Yeah. Always remember this. Yep. Is a paper at V is a skill that deals big paper damage to one enemy. <gasps> Amazing. Ah, cool. And we can't save. I just want to save. <laughs> okay. Let's check out this cool pillars. What? Okay. I don't think we need to do this. <laughs> Wait. But I kind of, I, I have to, right? <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. And third floor time. A pillar, no trap. A broken pillar. It's always so scary when it's just silent. Are we gonna get a snack break again or not? Oh, oh, what's that? This room feels safe too, doesn't it? But what's that thing behind it? What? 
Break time? Maybe not. We might still have a lot to... Huh? <gasps> what, what was that? Yeah! Oh! So, oh sorry, <laughs> I was about to speak German. It was his tummy grumbling. I thought they got scared by that thing, but apparently not. It was my tummy, sorry. That was so loud. Why did I not hear that again? How hungry are you for it to be this loud? I don't get this swole by skipping meals. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, anyway, let's take a break for now. So what is that thing there? <laughs> what? Why is no one addressing it? Bon bon, how much longer until the snacks are done? Five minutes! Okay, take your time! <laughs> oh. oh, hey, everyone. Uh, hey, hey. Hmm? So, um, we haven't brought it up yet, so, um, I have a question. Ah, a secret adult conversation for adults, no kids allowed? <laughs> Do you not want Boniface to hear? Yeah. If we're sure they won't hear, then... Yeah. Say at normal volume. Bonnie has a crap face! Bonnie is the cutest! Or Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe! Uh, I mean... I would love to say Bonnie is the cutest. But Bonnie probably wouldn't like it. So let's say Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe! Oh. Oh. You give a thumbs up! Nice, Bonnie doesn't hear, okay. Oh, gems. They actually did forget. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Someone better tell them later. <laughs> oh, cool. Good. What is coming now? Maybe about your sister or something? Um, okay. So, if any of you bites the dust, what should we do with your body? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh. It's good that he has, um, the... What do you call it? <laughs> it's good that he is sensitive enough to not bring that up in front of Bonnie. Um. Huh. What? Yikes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask. I know it's not the best moment. But, but most of us have different beliefs, don't we? So, well, in case, change forbid, one of us dies today and the others are able to honor your body. How should we do it? That is a good question to ask. I think that is something that's, or that can be important to a lot of people to just discuss if you're in a situation where you might just die. Damn, the undertones of all of that are so sad. Like, Madame Odile, is there a Kabuan way or... Hmm. No, it's... It's a valid concern. My voice is kind of dying. <laughs> oh my god. Well, in Kabua, you burn the body and take the ashes to a gem maker to transform them into a diamond. But don't that won't be easily feasible, so it... You'd change it into a diamond? Oh my god, that reminds me. Like many years ago, like six, seven years ago, or more possibly, I was in Switzerland, in St. Gallen, and I was at an... Uh, what is it called? Oh my god. Uh, at a museum, and there actually was like the story of someone's ashes being turned into a diamond. What? Wh why did this specific memory? Oh, that's interesting, and they do it in Kabua. You change into a diamond? Hardcore! But if that's not doable, you can donate my body to any house in Bogard. Yeah, science! If Ogard is saved, I'm sure they'd have a use for the body of a savior. <gasps> well, 
The House of Change recommends burying your body, un body under a tree, so our body can nurture the nature around it. Oh, be a part of change and all that. Oh, is it the same for you, Isabel? I mean, I'd be dead, right? So I don't really care that much about later. And for, well, Bonnie, what, what should? We won't allow Bonnie to die. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. That's so sad. Over our dead bodies, even if we're about to die, there are ways to use craft to make sure Bonnie will survive. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. That's so sad. <laughs> so, no matter what, you all know that. that's something you all agree with. What about you, Sifrin? Will there even be a time this will apply to you? You won't die for good, so it doesn't matter. But throw my ashes to the sky, then they will just fall down again, right? Bury me on the highest peak. It won't happen, it doesn't matter. We don't need to say that. Honestly, if we go somewhere, like, or if they were to go somewhere on a mountain and then throw the ashes uh, into the wind, I think that's nice. Let's do that. Oh, this is new to me. Is it perhaps common where you come from? Maybe, who knows? Wink! Oh my god, I wish I could wink. I mean, I... I can, but... Still. Maybe, who knows? Wink. I would like to use my powers while I can. So let's wink. <laughs> Sorry for asking. No! <laughs> oh no, I feel like that was not the right thing to say. Uh, hey, are you done talking? Because... It's snack time, baby! <laughs> oh, it's a serious business. Snack time! I'm listening. Snack times are always serious business, dummy. Today I have... Um, some... Madeleines! What is that? Madeleines? Or however you pronounce that. Thank you for making some money face. Mm. What is... Is that a kaboon thing? Some pineapple slices! They have some sugar on them! Just plain pineapple slices? With sugar! <laughs> and pineapple is good, you know? It is. It's just not very exciting, is all. Exciting? You want exciting? Then eat this! Ah! Uh, fish head! No! F fish head? F fish head? Why? A fish head. Ew! Fish heads are yummy and the textures are different and good. Huh. Are they? They are! Okay. I... So which snack do you guys want? You'd like one fish head, please? I tried a pineapple some madeleines for me. Um... Uh, I'm kind of curious what happens if you eat the fish head, but also I don't want to eat a fish head. I don't know what Madeleines are, but that sounds interesting. Let's just try something new. Assuming we've eaten fish head before. <laughs> there you go! Bonnie hats you some Madeleines. You bite into one. Soft? Delicious! Ah, oh, how cool! I would love to eat some Madeleines, whatever that is. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Let's talk to everyone. Oh! Oh. The music. That sounds ominous, but in a different way. Like something big is coming. Like something... Way, way bigger than like we could imagine. That's what it feels like. Scary, ominous. Ah! Oh. Hmm. Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Eh? Oh. Yeah. I know. Hmm. We 
should leave them be. Mirabel is biting her nails. You point to them. Nails. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Thanks, Sifrin. She should wear gloves like you do. We're gonna be okay. I, I hope so. You might even say. Huh? Oh, oh no. We're gonna nail it. Yeah. yeah. I won't let you win. <laughs> you almost did though. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> hey, Sif. You know, you look like a hamster when you eat. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute. You do? No, no, I don't. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this. But you do. Your cheeks get all... <laughs> your cheeks get all big and round. Like a cute hamster. <laughs> so cute. Isabel. Yeah. Stop being cheeky. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the music. Oh shit. What's gonna happen? I'm so scared. Huh. Isabel eats a whole cookie at once. And makes a hamster face! Wait, why is he, does he still have a cookie? You stick your tongue out. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh. Oh no. We could die today, huh? Oh well. I've had a good life. You won't die today, would you? Oh. Is that so? Oh. I won't let you can prevent it, after all. Hmm. Give that sort of speech for the younger ones. I'm sure Isabel would love it. <laughs> Is that like indirect shade? Go away now. I need my time alone. Or her alone time. Yeah, in that case, let's leave her. And I think that's a good point to wrap it up, right? Oh my god. Leaving this on a cliffhanger. Unless you are one of the people who has watched this. Then it's just a cliffhanger for me. <laughs> but it's just as exciting. Well, for me, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure about the length of this one since I'm gonna have to cut a lot of things out. But I have been recording for quite a while. So we'll just see about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you want, you can let me know what you think of this episode. And if not, that's also fine. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>